Hi, and welcome to the first of maybe several videos on what I've coined to be Geekerations. Here's today's project. Geekerations are obviously geeky decorations, in particular for your local hackerspace or makerspace. To expand on that a bit, the workshop part of my local space has 25 foot tall warehouse walls, so there's lots of boring, barren space up high. I had the idea that most makerspaces can be too much to take in for new people and they often won't see the potential of the concept right away. It's just too much new stuff for their brains to categorize all at once, or to figure out how they fit in there, or how people they know might fit in there. So they could show up and look around, but later not remember or be able to describe a single thing they saw. Just that there was an ocean of tools and stuff. So my idea was that if the space was compartmentalized with labels, their brains can make sense of it much quicker. I thought it'd be neat to build a sign for each area, out of junk from that area, in a font that reminds you of that area. So the woodshop sign would say woodworking in a soft, organic font and be made out of wood scrap. The metalworking sign would maybe be machined on the mill, the welding sign would be welded in plasma cut scrap, the automotive sign made from junk car parts, the laser sign and laser cut and laser etched acrylic, and so on. And the signs also work as permanent project demos to show people what they could learn to do with the tools in that area. First up, I'll show you how I made the electronic sign for a hackerspace out of old circuit boards mostly computer motherboards. You could make your own for your local hackerspace or a den or university club or whatever very easily using tools you probably already have, even if you don't have any tools. I made this one in a couple hours. For those that don't get what this is, it's just a sign. It doesn't do anything. I just used old circuit boards as a construction material. So here's how I did that. First is design. Pick a relevant font. This font is inspired by the movie Tron, and it makes me think of electronics. We settled on 10 inch tall letters based on signs being 12 feet off the ground. So I drew all the font components on paper and cut them out, then used those to draw on the circuit boards. Then it was time to cut. Here I am using a metal cutting bandsaw. Most of you won't have one of those and you don't need one. The actual copper on circuit boards is paper thin and no harder than wood, and the rest of the board is made from fiberglass and plastic, which cuts easy. Just wear a dusk mask because inhaling fiberglass can cause lung damage. What you're not seeing is a second person on a scroll saw doing all the sharper angle cuts for me so I can get it done sooner. A jigsaw or coping saw would also work well. A Dremel works too, but be prepared to go through a lot of discs. A hacksaw would be okay for straight cuts, and I even made some of the straight cuts with a pair of normal scissors. Originally I planned on smoothing out the letters on a belt sander, but being 12 feet up you can't tell how crooked the cuts are so I didn't bother. You can see I'm doing these all the hard way, cutting with the uneven components facing downwards. It would have been much easier to cut and display with a tray side flat on the table. I thought it would look weird to have big components obviously chopped up, but at a distance it actually looks far less boring than the plain green, so your mileage may vary. The better way to mount these would have been with spacers on a piece of plywood, but I wanted it done right away, so I used an ugly 2x2. Consequently, the uneven heights make the sign a bit difficult to read at some angles, so that was a poor choice. The parts of the letters that were left floating, I cut some scrap wiring harness and sloppily hot glued it to the backs to get the spacing right. Two clumps of wires in each piece was enough to hold the tension. From here it looks terrible, but from the front, it looks okay. The only thing left to do was put it up on the wall. If you're thinking of doing this at your hackerspace, when you're designing, pick a letter height by standing across the room and looking up on the wall itself, then going up and measuring what you saw. 10 inch letters makes this sign 9 feet long and looks gigantic on even a big work table, but once it's 12 feet off the ground it almost looks petite. If I would have guessed ahead of time I probably would have picked something half this size and that would have been way too small. So there you go, it's ugly but good enough for us until someone makes an electronic sign that actually does something electronic. I have a lot of ideas for other signs and some cool geekerations in mind after those, but I'll probably post them as they get built.